It's a few days after the start of the new year. Imagine that you have been selected for a fantastic mission, a mission to travel in a spaceship and visit some of the planets. But not only the planets, also the stars, galaxies, and whatever else you can find on the way to the edge of the universe. Since the universe is very large, if we're actually going to get anywhere, we're going to have to travel very, very fast in a super spaceship. That of a space shuttle lifting off the launch pad, riding plumes of bright orange flames. At its top speed, the space shuttle went over 17,000 miles per hour. Each successful launch depends heavily on still and video. We're going to have to travel much faster. We are going to travel at the speed of light or 186,000 miles per second. That's over 600 million miles per hour. At that speed, how long will it take for us to get from our classroom at GDS to the edge of the universe? And what will we pass on our way? Let's take a look and see. Let us travel now at the speed of light, departing from our home star on a trip across the cosmos toward the edge of the known universe. Our imaginary journey begins at midnight on January 1st, when we prepare to launch into space at the speed of 186,000 miles per second. We quickly pass the orbits of Mercury, Venus and span the 93 million miles that separate the Earth from the Sun in just 8 minutes 19 seconds. We continue on, passing Mars. Then the gas giant planets, Jupiter. Saturn. Uranus, Neptune. Finally, after five hours and 31 minutes, we race past Pluto and its companion moon. Our journey has taken us more than three and a half billion miles to the outer limits of our solar system. And it's still January 1st. Now we alter our flight path and travel in a direction perpendicular to our galaxy. Behind us, the nine planets and the sun quickly vanish from sight. The emptiness of space is broken only by the light of stars so distant they do not yet appear to move. A year passes, then two years three, four years. Finally, on April 19th of the fifth year, we reach Alpha Centauri, the nearest star to our solar system. We have traveled more than 25 trillion miles, and our journey has scarcely begun. We are now 10 light years from the Sun, far enough out in space that the stars within our galaxy appear to converge. 100 light years from the Sun. Patterns of gas and nebulous material from the arms of the Milky Way fill our view. 1,000 light years. The galaxy's arms and disk become more defined. 
Yet it is not until we have traveled at the speed of light for 100,000 years that the entire spiral shape of the Milky Way is recognizable. From here on, each point of light we see is no longer an individual star, but an entire galaxy composed of billions of stars. Five million years after beginning our journey, the Milky Way is seen as part of a cluster of about 30 galaxies, known as the local group. Fifty million light years out, we encounter the large Virgo cluster, containing more than 2,000 galaxies. And so it goes, as our travels continue to take us deeper into the cosmos. We pass cluster after galactic cluster, each a building block of a far greater framework. A billion years pass. Five billion. Finally, after 10 billion years, we decelerate and pause to observe a theoretical view of the universe's large-scale structure. Countless billions of galaxies are now seen to comprise chains, masses, and thread-like structures that stretch across the cosmos, separated by enormous regions of empty space. Instructions. You have just gone on an imaginary journey from GDS to the edge of the universe and back. In this activity, you will review your journey and be able to explain to others where in the universe is Georgetown Day School. One, find your set of cards. Two, Put the cards in order, starting with the card closest to your current location, where you are this moment, and moving step by step to the card that's farthest away from your current location. When you're done, show your work to your teacher, and then, in your journal, write down where your classroom is in the universe. Be very, very specific, as if you were giving directions to someone you met at the very edge of the universe.